Yeah, greetings. So this is an exercise on NURBS, primarily intended for my students to teach them about NURBS and NURBS patches. So what I have here is a NURBS patch and it's four by four roughly and it has an order of seven in one direction and two in the other. So it has seven control points one direction to the second direction. The objective for this and for my students eventually is going to be to take this NURBS patch and turn it into a half cylinder by just manipulating the control points and also the hull lines. So let's begin. Uh, as I said, I've got a NURBS patch I created. This is the ISOM workbench of Katia. I created this NURBS patch with the unified patch tool and I created it on the YZ plane. And like I said, it's four inches by four inches. An order of seven going one direction, six degree, and an order of, of two, first degree, going the second direction. So let me tap into the surface, and when I tap it, you will see I get the control points dialog box. And almost everything here is going to be moving these control points on, or at least parallel to the X, Y plane. So I'm going to have points selected under my filters and nothing else and then i'm also going to have my compass plane selected and if you notice my compass is parallel to the x y plane if you need to change that you can change that by right clicking on the compass and changing its privileged plane so i'm going to jump to the top view because most of our work will be done in the top view And I'm going to start tugging control points. Now, you may notice a circle here. So I drew this circle with the circle tool. And it is a radius of two, so it's four inches in diameter. So my cylinder is going to end up having four inches and being four inches in diameter. I also created a line. And then I rotated that line around to create 30 degree subsegments. This again is a lesson for my students about NURBS geometry. And so I will allow them when they do a project similar to this to use this type of con construction geometry to help with the uh, layout of the cylinder. So I'm going to go back to the cylinder. As I said, I've got points selected for the filters and I've got my compass plane as my support. And I'm just going to, and I, since I have points on top of points here, instead of just selecting a point and dragging, I got to ensure that I draw a little filter box around or selection box around the point I want to move. And that ensures I've got the point that's below it. So I can start tugging and dragging my points out. Grab these two middle ones. And then notice I pick off in space to ensure that I deselect the previous selection. Come back. The next two. Oops. Control Z is your friend in this exercise. So go back. Draw a little box. Move these two down. Now, here's the. this is one of the things that I'm hoping my students will appreciate about this assignment is um, what it takes to be symmetrical across the seam. So I'm going to have the YZ plane is my seam and so if then this is only going to be a half cylinder so if they were to mirror this over it would have smooth continuity at least G G1 continuity across that seam so in order for that to happen I've got to line up these pair of control vertices I know that's kind of hard to see but there is a control vertice there's a whole line right here and so these two points need to be 
straight below in the x direction these uh, from these two points in other words these whole lines have got to be perpendicular or normal to the yz plane do the same here now there's some little tricks i want to show you to help get some of this um, more accurate but let me do some manipulation here first so i'm getting it close and but it's far from being accurate and so let me go ahead and just start manipulating individual points here first well not individual so when if i say a point i mean in a point in the point below it so i'm going to draw a box here this point has got to lie on this line these two points must lie on this line these two points have to lie on this line and in addition to that they need to be straight across from this point and again these two points as well so this one has to be on this line in addition it has to be right below these two points so this is just an, an effort right now of manipulating control points to get it close so as I tug you can see now I'm using my construction to work on some accuracy or at least to get it on my construction geometry so I can work on accuracy here in a few minutes so now um, accuracy so I've, I've got essentially the shape of a cylinder but it's not very accurate so let me work on that so as I said these two points have got to be uh, lined up with each other vertically and this circle is two inches in radius in the y direction so I can draw a box around these right click go to edit position and change the y position to two and notice when I did that all these points should be two or close to it at least it looks like I'm off a little bit here Let's try this again edit position and the Y should be two that's good and then let's do the same thing here Y should be two and it is and moving around to the other side this should be a negative two This time I'm going to make a slight change in the X direction. I'm going to make this 1.15. So to keep this symmetric, I'm going to go over to this side. Make these two points also 1.15. And I'm going to keep working around manipulating these control points until I finally get these where I want them so I, you saw how I did this these two this one um, these two have to be the same distance in the X direction and they both have to be the same distance from the along the Y direction this being positive and this being negative so this requires just some manual manipulation so what I like to do is get it close on one side and make ensuring that I keep the point on this construction line then once I get it close I can do my manipulation primarily here in the Y direction uh, let's make that 1.06 I'm going to just do some slight tweaking here so 1.06 and 1.8 So do the same on this side. So this is going to be a negative 1.06. And this will be a 1.8. So 1.06, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8,
So those should be lined up with each other. And finally, the last one is going to be this point, or these two points. And the x value should be 0. And then the y value is going to be whatever it takes to, in this case, probably let's try, is whatever it takes to get it on um, the and the circle, the correct radius. So I'm going to try a three here. And that's close. So I would here, I'm very, very close. I'm not going to finish this, but I would manipulate and keep manipulating until I got the points more accurate uh, than what they currently are. Now, I should be about finished. So if I go back into my model, so just some things to look at. So I've got my construction circle. I've got my lines laid off 30 degree divisions. So these whole lines running this way should be vertical, normal to the YZ plane. These whole lines sh should be normal to the YZ plane. Their length should be the same at, to each other. So these two whole lines should be the same as these two whole lines as far as length. When you're looking at these, the distance uh, from the XZ plane here should be the same for this these points compared to these points and they all should be on these construction angles a little bit off there but I'm not going to worry about it and then these two points that are here should lie on the XZ plane and manipulate how far away it is from the YZ plane will help control the radius of the cylinder in this area so when I'm done, I've got a half cylinder formed from a planar patch. And the purpose of this, again, is to show my students nerves modeling and how nerves essentially start off as planar patches and then come together to uh, form the shape they need to form. Now I could take the shape now, it's only an order of two going vertical, and I can certainly change that now to with more control points that I can manipulate uh, to form other shapes if I need to.